we always decide to launch every city with chippy. The first course is like chips and cheese. So we make a parmesan espuma, we do parmesan crisps, we make like a potato croquette, then we portion that, fry it, and then we dust it in vinegar powder. Next course is our monkfish cheek scampi. So we obviously bring in our monk cheeks every day, pea ketchup, and like a sauce grabiche. Okay, just dead simplistic. Yeah. It should be packing the flavour. The steak pie, we would prep all our beef shin down, manage that for as long as we could, trying to aim for two days in red wine, and then cook the beef shin overnight. Put through like diced vegetables, herbs, we put through some ox tongue through it as well, and then wrap it in creponette. The garnish is a mushroom duxelle. Fish dish, we get our mussels in, we cook them in beer, and make like a beer muscle emulsion. So it's very clean, very like, you know, we're just getting the consistency, boom. So that dish is kind of like with samphire, so we have like our fennel mix, samphire, pickled mussels, taramas, salata, beer emulsion, then the cod topped with the beer scraps on top. Pork dish, we make a sausage mix, we then mix it with black pudding, and then to order, every sitting, we spiralise potato, and then wrap it in potato spaghetti, then we fry that off, and it's like a crisp cannelloni. There's so many elements, mate. You just go rogue on it. The garnish is like a celeriac sure-crout, black pudding, fresh apple, a very acidic kind of apple gel, and a, and a jus, and it gets finished under the cloche. And you'll do that, and then it'll just go up like that, and that will be just kind of nicely smoked for that, right? And the dessert is we do like a chocolate soil, we then make a caramelia, chocolate mousse. We kind of drizzle over the top of that salted caramel, which almost like seasons the uh, chocolate. We then do aerated chocolate orange, put it in the spuma gun and gas it up. Then release the gas when you pour it out, it's like an arrow. And then the garnish paddle up Mars bars and then fry them off. So it's like a wee bonbon of deep fried Mars bar. And that's it.